Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate that if you need to cut a piece of wire or join it a few times, it's best to solder it rather than just twisting it. I'm going to do this experiment using a multimeter. This is an above average multimeter. The inaccuracy of the resistance measurement is 0,07%. The purpose of this experiment is to demonstrate that soldering the wires reduces the contact resistance. Contact resistance is present whenever we put two wires together or we've got contact or we use a lug or even a terminal block. There's a contact resistance between the one surface and the other surface. Right over here I've got a 45 centimeter long copper wire and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the resistance of the wire and the leads. Right, my multimeter is presently measuring 0.1 ohms, which means it's the resistance of this wire, the contact resistance on this side, the contact resistance on that side, and the resistance of the leads, and the contact resistance at the terminals of the meter. And altogether that is 0.1 ohms. Now on this meter, I can get a relative measurement. So I've zeroed it now. That means I've now set the meter to zero ohms. So any change that I make on this wire will now come up on the meter, either as an increase in ohms or a decrease in ohms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the wire in four places to give me five sections and then I'm going to twist them and then I'm going to measure the resistance. Then I'm going to use a soldering iron to solder the joints and then I'm going to measure the resistance again. I'm predicting that the resistance will be lower for the soldered connections than just the twisting of the pairs. Right, I have a slight increase in the resistance. It's not a lot, it's 0.04 ohms. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder it and I'm going to see if that resistance returns back to zero. Right, now we can see the meter is now showing zero ohms. So that means that I effectively reduced the contact resistance that would have been there from simply twisting the wires. Now why this is important is in electronics we have a lot of connections. For example, this is a gate controller, we've got a connection there, then we've got relays, then we've got another connection here, then there's obviously some circuits here. And if each contact was simply just twisted, we would have quite a high contact resistance which would create a volt drop, not a big volt drop, but the volt drop becomes significant if the current is high and the voltage in the circuit is low. For example, this is a 24 volt system and there's quite a few contacts that are made in this one circuit. There are two at the relay, one here, one on this side, then at the motor side there are two. So if we add up all those contact resistance and then we do a calculation which I'll show now, so this is a 24 volt system and the current is 12 amps. Now say we're getting a contact resistance of 0,04. The voltage due to contact resistance is V times IR. So if the resistance was 0,04, we will lose 0.48 volts just to the contact resistance. Then we have to also include the lead resistance. Now all these wires also have resistance, so we have to factor in the resistance of the actual wire itself. So let's just assume the volt drop of the wires is also about 0.4 volts. So that means the losses is 24 minus 1 volt. We've lost one whole volt just to do with the wire and the contacts. So if our contact and lead loss was 1 volt, that would leave us with a total voltage of only 23 volts. And if you work out the losses, you're going to get a 4.2% loss just to do with contact and lead resistance. That is why it's very important to reduce contact losses and use high quality cable between your connections. Over here, I have a 17 amp hour battery and somebody's connected the wire like this. They have not used a lug which they should have used, they've just put the wire inside here. Now will it work? Yes, it will work. But keeping in mind that over time this will oxidize and the contact resistance here will increase. And this is an example of where people have not considered the contact resistance. By using a lug like this, you can see the surface area is bigger and a bigger surface area reduces the contact resistance. So what should have happened is this should have been inside here, this could have been soldered and a lug could have been used for this terminal. Alright, thanks for watching and cheers.